What's up my fellow geeks? In today's video I'm going to go over my personal predictions for Spider-Man Far From Home. This is the final film in Phase 3 of the MCU, not Endgame as some people will have you believe. I just rewatched Homecoming to make sure I'm all caught up and fresh on the MCU. I'm really jonesing for some more comic book goodness so let's get to it. Prediction number one. With this being the final film in Phase 3, I believe we're going to get one final scene with Tony Stark. This might be a flashback, this might be a video on Peter Parker's phone, or it could even be a look into the multiverse and a different Tony Stark. Prediction number 2. Peter Parker is going to quit as Spider-Man early on in the movie. This is going to give us some more character depth to him. He's probably feeling very overwhelmed with everything that happened in Endgame and seeing his mentor, Tony Stark, pass away. Prediction number three. We are going to get our first appearance or reference to the character known as Black Cat. Black Cat has been both an enemy and a love interest of Peter Parker. Her father was known as being a cat burglar who traveled the world, and with Peter Parker now traveling the world, it makes sense to introduce her in this film. Prediction number four, Black Panther. Black Panther is going to make an appearance in this movie for two reasons. One, it's going to give us a good look at two of the main Avenger characters moving forward who are going to carry the franchise. And two, Peter Parker is going to need help with this technology that Tony Stark is no longer around to help out with, and Wakanda Tech can definitely do that. Prediction number five, Mysterio is a good guy. I repeat. Mysterio is a good guy. I know what you're thinking, as Spider-Man fans, we all know he's a villain, he was part of the Sinister Six, he's an illusionist, he's a liar, but I think that would be too simple of Marvel and it wouldn't be enough of a twist for the fans. So I think he's actually going to be a good guy until maybe right at the end of the movie where something is going to happen to turn him into a villain moving forward. Think about Iron Man 3 with the Mandarin. We all thought he was going to be the big bad guy, but it turned out he was just a pawn in someone else's game. Bonus prediction, post credit scene, Sinister Six. Sort of my sixth prediction, Sinister Six. Yeah, I'm good. The original leader of the Sinister Six was Dr. Octopus, who, after getting out of prison, got together all the main supervillains of Spider-Man and put together the team Sinister Six. Now, if you remember from Homecoming, we got to see the Vulture, who's still alive, in prison, talking to the Scorpion. I think I'm on to something here. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening to my many ramblings. I do have a good record to try to keep here. I went four for five with my end game predictions. I will do a recap video to go over all my Spider-Man Far From Home predictions. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more geeky content like this. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter for even more geeky goodness. And until next time, guys, don't forget to keep it geeky. Why can't I get this one right? Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da